Realism. It's a staple of modern games. Nothing communicates realism like a god ray, or a shadow, or simple reflection. And nothing communicates simplicity like a classic Roblox game. So, let's make it more complicated. So you might be wondering, Sidious, how are you going to make Roblox more realistic? Well, recently I found a tool called Blockshade, and it basically allows you to do stuff like this. <laughs> oh my god. And all you need to do is click done, and there you have it. Roblox shaders. Okay, this looks pretty good so far. Just a simple little shader, you know, not too bad. Just the lighting. The UI, the UI kind of does have an issue with this, I'm not going to lie with you. And I think as we go along the video, uh, we'll start to slowly upgrade the amount of shading that is added to the game, you know? So yeah, it kind of goes with all surfaces. Even like bricks kind of have a reflection, but it doesn't really make any sense. And Jake, you can even see everybody's like reflections on the surface as well. Oh, did you see that? Wait, hold on. Oh, it like, dude, there's like depth of a field with this too. So as you zoom in, your background actually gets a little bit, a little bit blurrier as you get closer. And I think this also works for surfaces as well. Yeah. So I'm looking inside this truss right now and it focuses on the truss, but everything else just gets a little bit blurry. Oh, there's a fire. Hold on. I think a fire was actually a perfect example of this. This is actually much different than what you would see on like just normal roblox you know um yeah the fire the fire is looking kind of insane right now it actually looks like it's hot that's what i'll say it's 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 a it's a weird experience Alrighty, next game is going to be arsenal so as you can see i've just added a few filters since last time i'm not gonna lie it's looking pretty good so far the way the lights kind of like make a lens flare here is pretty nice as well Yeah, so I can already see sort of a FPS drop here, obviously. Oh, crap. Thank you. I got this DB right here. Interesting. Nice. Yo, I'm number one. I'm number one. Yo, no, dude, there's so many people there, dude. Are you serious? Ah, oh, rest in peace, GG. All right, chat, what do we play next? Oh my god. Dude, you can like barely see the, uh... Where's the PNG? Dude, these floors look like you've been polished for like 20 years, dude. Like somebody's somebody's been Uh-oh. Somebody's been polishing these floors for a long time. Let me just have you know and what's going on here, gentlemen? Where are the next bots? Where are they? Are they all they're all the way down there, aren't they? Wait, is it going towards us? Oh crap. Dude, look at the look at the way it adapts. Look at this. So it's like all like bright and stuff, and then when you look down. Dude, that's sick. It gets like really bright out here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I like to solve the puzzle. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Alright, we're gonna play a horror game next because that was not scary enough, you know. Alright, here we go. In the super glossy house. Is that my health bar? Alright, bro. This does not look like a horror game, bro. I'll be honest. Okay, he's going outside uh to uh randomly disappear. Oh no, it's 9.30. Oh, I can't even read it. Oh, you hear a scream coming from outside. All right, yeah, this sucks. Ah, uh, so the last game wasn't scary enough. So it's time for some back rooms. Okay, it is really shiny for some reason. Oh my God. I actually have no, oh my God, it's getting so bright. Oh my God. Do you see that? All right, what is this cutscene that I'm in right now? Like, I don't actually know where I was last time. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I remember this. Oh, hell no. Yo, I might be cooked, actually. This is like a whole parkour area. Well, this is nice. Okay, I thought I heard something. Dude, this game is actually kind of scary. All right, so the objective looks like it's this. All right, write this down. One yellow, one orange, one white, 
One green. Yellow, orange, white, green. Okay. Oh. Nice. Give me the crowbar. This? Oh, smart. I mean, I got this, though. This is fine. I really don't like the parkour, though. It actually sucks. Dude, why does it launch you forward like that? Look. <clears throat> These jumps aren't too bad, so, I mean... We should be fine. Oh my god, that was close, Jesus. Okay, this is the path. This is the way. I'm locked. Look at that. Oh, this is just the beginning. You are an idiot. You know, I'm gonna keep going, actually. Okay, this is new. Like, what? where am I? I feel like I'm in a dream. Actually, this is like actually just dreamscape. A key? Thank you very much, sir. Here. Open. Okay, key, open door. Here. Yes. This is the wrong key? Are you serious? You gotta be playing with me, bro. Oh, I'm so done. There's, there's no way. Finally. God dang. But I see something over there. It looks a little bit promising. Yo, what if you just looked down there and just saw like an Elder Tor like staring back at you? And like the entire floor just started like rising. What would you do in that situation? <gasps> Please let me out. Button. Is this it? Dude, I'll be honest, I didn't actually expect the game to look this good. So yeah, back in quarantine, I was getting inspired by all these cafe games on Roblox, and I decided to make one of my own. It was going to extend further to just to be like a super long road, but you know, I never got to that. Yeah, this looks pretty nice, I'm not going to lie with you. And yeah, I would say for one of my first games, this was not too bad, you know. Dude, oh, this isn't even, this isn't even Roblox, bro. Oh my god. It probably looks similar to this without shaders, but god dang. Does the filter just add an insane, insane amount of lighting? Like, just the simple mechanic of a bloom and a lens flare can really add a lot to a game, you know? This is, this is what it looks like with shaders on. This is what it looks like without it. Alright, I should probably leave this game for my PC explode.